Oh, also before we even get into it, um, I want you guys to see my new shirt. Okay, logo, it's from Fonts Animal Plant House. Oh, let me just, this is the front and then the back, hopefully you guys can see, anti-social plant club, super cute. I'll post down below the link to their merch. They just came out with some merch, some shirts and a hoodie that I have. I bought two shirts and a hoodie, really good quality. I really do highly recommend them. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you're new here, my name's Koa and this is Koa's Plant Corner. Okay, so for today, I'm gonna be doing an update on my Jose Bono cutting video, the propagation video I did. Let me see how long ago that was, cause obviously I was not prepared to give y'all a timeline, which is wild of me. That Jose Bono video was approximately, it was a month ago. So this is like a one month later update on all the cuttings. I do, I have all of them, but one, I did end up selling one, you know, for some extra cash. So I'll post the video of what it looks like when the time comes, but let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first um, cutting I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show like, I'm gonna try to do a side by side uh, situation. So I'll show um, like maybe, I don't know, maybe here, maybe I'm gonna show it here. I'll do it here. Um, I think, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll figure it out, okay? So first thing I'm gonna show you, I have one, two, three, four, five, six plants here, including a mother plant. And honestly, like the reason why I'm doing this video now is a one month update is because I plan on selling a few of them. Um, I, it just doesn't make sense to have like six Jose Bonos, uh, you know what I mean? So anyway, let me show you the butt cut first. So. I'm gonna show you what the butt cut looks like before. This is what it looked like. It looked pretty um, sad. The original leaf was still there as well. Um, trying to look. Oh, it's in the same cup that I got it in like three years ago. That's really what it's looking like right now. So it was a four leafer and one of the leaves looked like it got like bitten. Someone bit bit it or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks, looks like then. But this is what it looks like now. It actually filled out a lot. Hopefully you guys are seeing the whole plant here. Um, the newest leaf is right up here in the center here. Where are you? There you are. It hasn't finished unfurling yet, but this whole specimen so far has been like a lot of um, like marbly speckling variegation looking like. Um, I haven't, I don't have any sectoral yet. I mean the first, like the pseudo leaf, I think it's called, the first pseudo leaf did have some um, variegation on it, but it came out really wonky, of course, because probably my lack of watering, honestly. Um, but the original prop leaf that all these Jose's came from is starting to die out a little bit. It's really yellowing. It actually started to do this um, when it was pushing out the new growth in this plant. So currently I have one, two, I have two plants in here growing and I do want to separate it. I don't know if you can see like the medium is like just moss and like some soil. I don't know if the camera would actually focus on it, but there's a root there and I would love to just cover that with some more um, soil or something or my soil looks mix and then have it grow into that. Then I can chop it and get rid of this bottom section because it's just, it's a little scary what's in there guys. It's just algae and craziness you know in there and there's some springtails in there as well so I do want to um, get the plants out of there but this is the butt cut it definitely filled out a lot and it's super cute um, right now it sits under my monios light which is on my wall I'll post a picture of my um, I call it like a like a ghetto DIY situation that I have that I have in my room there but this sits underneath it, maybe like two feet away from it, two feet and a half uh, feet away from it. And it's been growing well. Here's some new growth actually from the newer plants. Can you see the little, the white roots? Those are all um, newer growth, newer root growth, which is really cool. So plant number one is that butt cut. Okay, so the second plant is actually the plant that I went ahead and sold off. I have a video of what it looks like here. Um, that's actually the video that I used to sell it on Instagram. So someone bought it. Um, but yeah, it was looking pretty well. It did have, let me go back to the video. Let me see if I can actually find how much leaves it had. I go back a while, ding. Um, one of the leaves had a little bit of sectoral variegation on it. Actually, both of them did. That actually looks really cute. I don't know. I'll post put it on the screen too, but... It actually looks really cute. Um, yeah, I sold that one first only because it was in a pot already and that, that pot I was really, um, 
I put it in that pot so that it can be sold in that pot. I know a lot of people like to see the root growth and the medium, all that stuff. Um, but this one was cute too, yeah. This is actually the cutting that I was planning on selling um, at the New Jersey plant sale event that was back in June, June 10th-ish, I think, or June 12th. Um, but I didn't get to attend, fortunately. So I'm glad that I sold that. I still sold it anyway. So yeah, that's plant number two. And palm. Okay, so this next cutting, I'm just watching the video while I'm um, doing this. So this next cutting struggled actually the most out of all of them. So it was like a nice two leafer that I had in pawn and the leaves really struggled to, um, it kind of struggled in the whole situation of rooting. It didn't do anything until those two leaves fell off, honestly. So before the second leaf fell off, I don't think I have pictures of any, like the progress of it falling off, but before those two leaves fell off, um, one of the leaves was holding on, actually the variegated leaf was still on there, it's looking really sad. I chopped it off, so this is a petiole, this is what it looks like right now. It's not cute, right now I have it in a cup of algae ridden fertilizer water right now. Um, and this is the petiole of that variegated leaf, but this is what we're dealing with right now. There's roots, there is new growth, which is great. There is also like a lot of like black gunk on it and it's not super it's a little soft anyway yeah so i do have to do some cleaning up of this um plant uh you can see that the new growth kind of happened in between where the petiole meets the stem right there that's where the node was where the new growth point was so it is looking pretty ugly i'm not gonna lie to you. i'm not gonna lie it's ugly right now i do have to do some cleaning but um at least it's a lie. I call this a success, especially when it comes to philodendrons. This is probably, like, you know, the best worst case scenario. So there's roots on it. I do have faith that it's going to grow more. The leaves are cute too. You can see there's some variegation on this leaf here. Super cute. This one has a little sectoral as well. So I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. So it's not in the most like cute uh, setup or anything, but it's doing its thing. So this is plant number three. I might just wait for free, honestly, at the event. <laughs> I did have a one leaf cutting that, um, yeah, it was like really small. There was like barely any roots on it. I think there was like one root on it. It was really small, if I can recall. And I went ahead and put it in one of these one of these containers it was growing in, it was fine. I actually had it under super bright light. It was under my two Barina T5s. And it was very close, like top, this is the light, this is the plant. Um, so that leaf fell off, but it, it then it became like a node, like literally just like a node. And it has like, it gave off these like cute little, I don't know if you can see like the little offshoot. So it's so bushy, so cute. This one's really exciting. I'm trying to look for roots so that I can go ahead and separate them. Maybe they're just too baby. They're just too small. I see a ton. Oh, there are some roots in it. Cute. I see a lot of springtail on it. I'm not a fan of the bugs, but you know, they're doing their thing. Um, variegation wise, it's cute with marble. Like it's like a marble variegation. Hopefully you guys can see without it showing up on my face, but super cute. Let me show you this leaf here. Very cute. So it's like really full. It's still growing under um, the two Barina T5s. It's actually under very bright light. So I'm really surprised. This is like after a month. Has it been a month? Yeah, about a month and some maybe like a few weeks because I posted that video a few weeks after I actually did the chopping. So let's take like a month and a half, you know, update, which is not bad. So I have this little baby here. It's like different offshoots. I do want to separate it and just have more Jose Bonos, but stop it. I need to stop it. We don't have the space for it. We can't, no. That's plant number four. Ooh, the minty one. Let's talk about it. So this, the minty one, this is the one that I was really excited about. The reason why I separated this cutting and the next one, the two, um, like the ones with more variegation on it. I wanted to see, I was curious if it would continue um, throughout the, the other leaves and if I would just keep getting highly variegated leaves. So um, these were the ones that were in soil mix. And now I was really worried about these only because um, I guess they just took the cutting pretty hard in the beginning. They started to wilt a lot. Some of them started to um, just get like really dry looking. You can see the veins, just, it was getting really dehydrated, obviously. Um, it didn't have like a substantial root system to go ahead and support the whole plant, especially the large leaf that was, you know, left on that plant. Um, 
So it took some weeks. Also, it was, wasn't getting a lot of light. It was actually like at the bottom of my Fabricore greenhouse and the two barinas are on the top of it. I'll post some pictures of my Fabricore. It's not impressive yet. I have to redo that as well. Like I redid the nose bow, but um, it was getting lower light, but it was getting some humidity from the greenhouse. So it did take some time for it to kind of catch up and do its thing. But this is what that minty, that very minty uh, leaf, the plant looks like right now. This is the leaf, the original leaf that we propped, right? Super cute, I love that. Hopefully you can see with the light. Hopefully it's not that much of a glare. And this is the little plant that came from it. So the first leaf, the pseudo leaves are always a little funky, right? Hopefully the camera is focusing on that and not on me, a little funky. Um, but the next leaf after that have this like half moon situation. It's dripping, dang it, it's dripping, it's fine. Super cute, right? Leaf after that, very marbly. So um, I don't know if it's just with all Jose's or just just mine, but um, the, the speckling is still very cute. I do love this variegation. But I was hoping for a lot more white on it. So I do wanna give this one a little bit more of a chance to grow. Um, I just wanna see if I'll get any more variegation from the plant as it gets bigger, or maybe this is probably the most I'm gonna get because this is like, wasn't like a, just like a little bit of a minty situation and a little bit of sectoral on the sides there. And then as well on the margin section there. Um, but yeah, it's rooted and tooted, very rooted. You can see some root there. This is actually in a soilless mix because um, I kind of stopped using soil except for my succulents really. Well, actually they're in soilless as well, but except for my cactus, I gotta put it back in soil. But yeah, you see the roots there, it's doing well, super healthy. Um, I don't know which of these plants I'm gonna sell yet, but if you wanna stay updated, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll, I just do like random plant sales on there uh, of some cutting. So you'll probably see one or two of these Jose's on there. So feel free to check me out here on Instagram. Slowest? Yes, so this is the all, like the highly variegated one that had like a lot of the white slash yellow variegation, you know what I mean? Um, this is it here. Again, this is the prop leaf, right? Super minty. It wasn't, was it? Yeah, it was more sectoral, like more bright color, like bright white, yellowish cream when it came out. But of course they all, all fade down to that minty um, color, which I actually do prefer over the white cream a little bit. Um, so the pseudo leaf, nothing to, talk about i was like "Ooh, this is really it uh leaf after that fun sectoral as this plant normally does those have some fun sectoral leaves and then the newest leaf is this all green speckly still super beautiful um yeah this is yeah still pretty so this one is doing well as well i did just water these that's why they're all like super wet and kind of um doing the most right now. There are roots on here, they're super small. Yeah, I'm gonna show you at least one root that I see. At least, yeah, this one right there. Yeah, so this one's rooting, still doing fine. Um, this original prop leaf just looks kind of like dehydrated and sad. Um, it could be because it just, I don't know, just the way it looks. I don't know if you can even tell. Um, I don't know if the camera would pick it up, but it's a little like soft and like as if it's not getting enough water. Um, but the plant is, I just watered it. Maybe that's why. So it needs some time to perk up. But this is the last propagation. Super cute. Um, so they were all an, a success. Um, it's still a little bit early to say about the water prop, but I do have faith that it's gonna be fine. I do plan on putting it in a pond so I can have at least one cutting in a pond because that was the main uh, goal. That's one of my goals in this whole propagation situation. I wanted to have one in a pond and grow one in semi-hydro just to see how it works, all that stuff. Um, but lastly, I'm gonna show you the top cut. Let me see how it was looking before. Slow yeah. That's okay. Now the top cut to me did the best. Um, of course it had more roots in the other um, propagations as well, but to me just just the most success in general. So um, these are the original, I don't know if I could show you, the original leaves at the bottom here. I think this one as well. I think when I was talking in that video, maybe this one was the one that was emerging out, was it? Or I think it was maybe this one, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, these, since that video, it's pushed out three new leaves. I don't know if my camera's even focusing on it because it chooses to focus on uh, my planter in the back, but three new leaves. This one 
First it was, wait, first it was this one. They're pretty dusty because I don't clean my leaves like I should. I did get this little brown spot and I was like, what is that? This one had another brown spot. I'm like, what the heck is that, right? And this one doesn't have a brown spot. So just like a random thing that I just found out while I was um, growing this plant out. I started to miss some plants, some philodendrons around this one, the ones that had emergent leaves. And I think some water may have settled on it. So it kind of did this weird brown situation. The water just sat on the leaf like that. So it did cause some browning. And this leaf here, the new one, I was really careful to not spray it. So that's why it doesn't have the brown on it. And by this size, it would have, the brown spot already showed up on the other two leaves. So this one's, this is cute, right? So it's just still sitting in my ambient humidity. It's directly under my Soltec Solutions light. It's about five feet away from it. Um, but it's also, I potted it up in no drainage, um, which is really my preferred um, potting situation when it comes to philodendrons because if they're in drainage i do tend to kill it for some reason not for some reason i kill it because i overwater them um, but the no drainage really helps me because i can see how wet the soil is through the glass and i can see if the reservoir is dry or not and i have to refill it and all that stuff so it really just works for me um, but this is what the roots are looking like i love seeing philodendron or even anthurium roots in no drainage like so cool. And their roots and no drainage is a lot more satisfying because they're like ramen noodles or like udon noodles. <laughs> udon. Wait, udon noodles. Oh my gosh. Udon noodles. Udon noodles. Anyway, they're like ramen noodles. <laughs> so uh, this is what it looks like. I have a picture I posted on Instagram. I was just really happy about it. You can even see like the um, secondary roots on there too. I love the glass vessels and I have a few. All my philodendrons here that are under my soul tech solution. I'll do a tour soon so that you guys can see what I'm talking about, but I'll post, I'll post a picture of the whole setup really quick. Um, they're all in no drainage, except my two Monsteras, actually, except my three Monsteras, which I'm gonna be po um, potting them up in no drainage because they're just really thirsty and no one told me that. <laughs> Monsteras are so thirsty. So anyway, Jose Bono, this is the top cut that I definitely will be keeping. She's super cute and I'm happy that she's doing well in her little situation. So now I have a little farm of Jose Bono, which is cool. If you're trying to get into a super easy philodendron, like an easy care philodendron, I do recommend the Jose Bono. And I do want to put like a little video out there, some easy care philodendrons, because for me, who can, someone who can keep anthuriums alive, philodendrons do seem to be a little difficult for me. So I'll do that little, um, a little video if you guys even care about it uh, for really easy care field engines and the Jose Bono is definitely one of them I know a lot of people don't like it as much you don't see them around as much um, but I think the way that you grow them really it just changes the way it looks right so a lot of people will grow up moss poles and I don't like the look of them because they start to grow a little bit leggier sometimes like the petioles would be all the way up here, out here or uh, they start to just grow one direction. I do like it when they're a little, bit, a little bit more bushier. So I don't have a moss pole on mine. Maybe just because it has higher light, the internodal spacing is a lot closer, um, which I really love. It's kind of like looking a lot, like a little bushier, you know what I mean? And obviously because obviously because the light is um, facing downward, it's all the leaves are facing upward like that. So anyway, but yeah, I like the way this grows. I don't think I'll ever put one on a moss pole i do know that my plant would have definitely grown faster and larger if i had done that even especially if it was in the greenhouse because it has um like ideal temperature and like ideal light lighting and all that stuff um but again not a fan of the way it looks on a moss pole and i do definitely do an update for what's left uh for how many hoses i have left um and just see so that you can see what it looks like, what it's doing. I do plan on keeping the little small one. So cute, the little bush, so cute. Definitely keeping that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I don't know if this is a short video. It's supposed to be a short video, but it probably isn't because I can talk and talk and talk and talk. But thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to comment down below which cutting is probably your favorite. For me, my favorite cutting, okay, can we do besides the top cut? Because obviously the top cut is my favorite. But besides the top cut, honestly, I'm gonna have to say, this is my favorite, the little bush of Jose Bono. Super cute. It reminds me of like the TC Jose Bonos that you see um, or that you saw around like a few months ago. A lot of them are growing out now at that different stores are selling, but um, super cute, definitely my favorite. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.